it's carnival time in Notting Hill. On the last weekend in August, more than a million and a half people took to the streets of the now world-famous London neighbourhood to take part in Europe's largest street party. For two days and nights, this small area of West London reverberated to the sounds of soca, calypso, reggae, hip-hop, house, garage and Latin music, offering Londoners and tourists a glimpse of what an ethnically diverse nation Britain has become. The carnival has come a long way since 1946, when the local Trinidadian community took a handful of steel bands onto the street to celebrate their culture. After World War II, there was, of course, mass immigration from the Caribbean and Africa to this country. Now, the people of Trinidad, who had, most of them, come to this country to work either in the hospitals or with London transport, found homes within the Notting Hill area. Uh, because it was one of the few places that black people could live without fear of racism and, and attacks. The carnival has its roots in the dark days of slavery, when once a year the slaves dressed up in parody of their owners. Today it's London's major multicultural festival, with huge crowds squeezing into the narrow streets around Notting Hill Gate. London's police are on hand to make sure nothing spoils the party. The real problem of policing carnival is simply the, the sheer size of it. It's a small geographical area, residential area in West London, uh, and we have in the region of one and a half million people. Uh, last year we peaked at two million on the Monday, obviously weather permitting depends on, on what numbers arrive, but just to manage that, it's a public safety exercise as opposed to the public order. The pluses of it is that we can, despite difficulties in London from day to day, you can have a multicultural event such as this with people from all different backgrounds getting on well together. That's a big plus. The heart of the carnival is the masquerade, the costumed bands who parade through the streets. Mass, as it's called, is created by dozens of Afro-Caribbean carnival clubs who make spectacular constructions. For many, it took months of painstaking work to get their elaborately sequined and feathered outfits ready for the big day. on the, the, 5th, the 15th of June and we've just managed to get everything going. The carnival costumes are on display in the Millennium Dome, a suitable platform and background for these unique pieces of artistry. London carnival is growing as an indigenous to London. They're aware we have uh, an influx of samba groups and Caribbean groups, uh, uh, hip-hop groups and everything, everything comes into Notting Hill. This year we've had a lot of artists joining us and young artists, which I think is very interesting to have the, young, the younger ones with us and their designs are very intricate and very lovely. This year, mass bands displayed their costumes at the Grand Costume Gala that takes place at the Millennium Dome, a week before the actual street carnival. During the highly competitive event, 75 mass bands competed for the title of King and Queen of the Carnival and Best Male or Female Costume. Children have their own day at the carnival, and they kicked off the gala at the dome with their exquisite creations. Carnival arts are a unique form of expression in which each costume tells a story on a theme. The judging panel casts a critical eye over the creations, weighing up originality, artistry and craftsmanship when choosing the winners. But the public respond to all the participants, the shy ones, the wild ones and the real cool ones. try to include as many groups as possible because we think that the diversity and the variety is what makes Notting Hill Carnival the world's premier carnival because there is no other carnival where you can find so many different representations of cultural activities. <laughs> 